Hey besties, it's Calliope and you are watching the Artist Spotlight with Branch Out Visuals. So Calliope is my artist name and um, when you look up Calliope it takes you to Greek mythology and she was actually the goddess of song, dance, and music so when I was furthering researching the name I came across it and um, it was an it was a perfect fit for me. Actually, before we had the Calliope name, my stage name was Chaotic Calliope, and you you think of chaos and you think of you know crazy, uh, out of the box, you know chaotic. Um, but the way I interpreted the chaotic image and name was chaos in your brain. You know, clouds, a million voices. I'm a huge mental health advocate, so I really wanted to showcase that and speak that through my music. Definitely advocating mental health and connecting with people. I like making music that people can relate to um, because so many artists have done that for me. Uh, Demi Lovato, Carrie Fletcher, Alanis Morissette, really powerful, unapologetic women, you know, who set, you know, those people forward. I would have to say Oak. He's produced um, John Legend, Demi Lovato, Camila Cabello, um, very well respected in the music community and I've been following him for very long so he's definitely someone, fingers crossed, I would like to work with down the line. So I do, um, I'm self-taught on the piano. I definitely do that, chord progressions, little stuff that I'll take into the studio. Um, but my strong suits are definitely singing, songwriting, performing, so I think that's where I'm gonna stay. I actually wrote one of my singles that I plan to release. It's called We're Not Really Strangers, and I actually wrote it from Cassie's point of view in Euphoria with her and Nate. If there's any Euphoria fans watching, you all get the drama from that. No, I hate boxes, I hate labels, I never like to limit myself when I'm creating or performing. Um, a lot of people, you know, ask me, you know, what's your genre, what do you do, and um, everything from R&B, pop rock, EDM club music, uh, soft ballads, everything. Probably Roses, it's an unreleased re original that I worked on with Rooty Productions. Uh, me, Justin, and Drew created it. We laid down a guitar line um, through amazing vocals and it's interesting because it's a R&B and rock song which isn't uh, you know a combination that really goes together in in the music community so we were really um just going crazy and breaking barriers with that and it's really fun to perform live and see people's reactions from that be yourself there's going to be a lot of people uh, that are going to try to change you, that are going to try to tell you that you can't do things, that you should be doing the exact opposite of what you're doing. Um, it could feel so right to you and people will get into your head and, and tell you that it's wrong and really make you doubt yourself. But um, yeah, it's really hard to lose yourself in this industry. So always be true and, and remember why you started doing this in the first place. I'm not a big reader. I do like poetry though. One of my favorite like poets, he releases like a lot of books, R.H. Sin. I draw a lot of inspiration from him. He really, um, very talented writer. I want to have an EP out, definitely be touring, um, and just living the dream. I do this full time. I left college, uh, musical theater to pursue this. So this is, it's all or nothing for me. McDonald's, McDonald's, 20 piece nugget, large fry, sweet and sour sauce forever and ever. Hey besties, it's Calliope and you just watched the Artist Spotlight with Branch Out Visuals. You can follow me on all social medias at Calliope X Music and also you can check me out at the Spotlight next to the Paramount. We will be celebrating my 22nd birthday and hanging out all night so I hope to see you there.